Recognizing Disability Pride Month, I'm your Lansing Neighborhood Reporter Larry Wallace and after the Lansing City Council unanimously passed a resolution, the city will now officially recognize the month. Take a look. You have worse days and you have better days. Wise words coming from 20-year-old Zealoth Pung as we talked over coffee about their life as someone with disabilities. Um, I have both mental and physical disabilities. My I would count my quote-unquote worst one as my neuropsychotic lupus. Um, that one's really hard to deal with. Zelleth says the lupus has led to them spending more and more time in a wheelchair. I'm an ambulatory wheelchair user, so I can switch from cane to wheelchair depending on how bad the day, but I've had a lot of flare-ups, which means I can't walk very well. Despite some challenges that comes along with their disabilities, Zelleth says they know they're not alone and others deal with the same challenges, which is why Zelleth was happy after what happened on Monday. All those in favor, please state by saying aye. Hi. Lansing City Council unanimously passed a resolution for the city to recognize Disability Pride Month. It's a month for us to celebrate our achievements as a community, as the dis disabled community, as well as to focus on visibility and awareness to help fight for future change and continue to increase disability rights. Advocate Luna Brown played a crucial role in helping to get the resolution passed. And part of it mentions raising the disability pride flag on the city's flagpole during the month of July. It's not as recognized as a lot of other like flags that have been flown in front of our city hall. And I think that is even more reason why it needs to be up there. And as the flag blows in the wind overlooking the capital city, Zalith hopes it gives those in the community with disabilities a sense of hope. It's very fulfilling if that makes any sense. Reporting here in Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.